horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen. On a recent video of mine, I showed you guys how to make three kinds of keto rice that were not cauliflower. And if you haven't seen that video, click here on the i button and watch it. So today we're going to be cooking up a keto rice bowl and it's going to have some chicken, some buffalo mozzarella, some olives, some cherry tomatoes and it's going to be delicious. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's get cooking. For this recipe, I'm going to be using my zucchini rice and I'm going to be using it raw. So it's got a bit of bite and crunch to it. The first thing we do is make the dressing for our rice bowl and I'm going to start with a spoon of my homemade pesto. Click on the I button for the recipe. To that I will add a tablespoon of olive oil, then a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar, a tablespoon of mayonnaise and then I give it all a good mix. And our pesto dressing for our rice bowl is ready. And I put it in this nice squeezy bottle so I can be all fancy when I'm dressing the bowl at the end. Next, I'm going to marinate my chicken for this rice bowl and I'm using chicken breasts. First, a nice big glug of olive oil, a splash of balsamic vinegar, some dried oregano and a generous seasoning with salt. And then give it all a good mix and make sure every breast is well coated in that marinade and then just set it aside. Now to cook the chicken, I'm going to get my non-stick pan on the stove and heat up some olive oil. Once the oil is hot, in go the chicken breasts. And now we're just going to cook them on a medium heat for about 3 to 4 minutes on each side. Remember, chicken breasts are fairly lean and cook quickly. If you notice, I have a few smaller pieces in the pan as well. Those will cook much quicker. Once the chicken has cooked on one side, flip it over. And just look at that lovely color on the chicken breast. Oh yeah! Anyway, now those smaller pieces I had in the pan, they got done earlier. So I removed them and then I let the full size chicken breasts cook till they were nice and golden brown on both sides and cooked all the way through. Then I removed them from the pan and let them rest. Now once the chicken has rested, it's time to slice it up and I'm going to cut nice thick pieces and man look at how juicy and succulent that chicken looks. Cooked to perfection. Now I'm also going to take some buffalo mozzarella cheese and slice that up. This is a delicious fresh cheese made with buffalo milk. And now it's time for the main event. So we're going to assemble our rice bowl and I will start with that zucchini rice of mine. I've got a mix of yellow and green zucchini in there. And then into the bowl goes our sliced up chicken breast. Then I'm going to throw in some cherry tomatoes that I've just cut into halves. Then in goes our buffalo mozzarella cheese and some sliced black olives. And that ladies and gentlemen already looks delicious. I'm just going to admire my handiwork for a second. Wow! Now it's time to dress our rice bowl with the pesto sauce that we made and I'm using the new squeezy bottle to be all fancy and chef like. However, things didn't go quite as I planned. The bottle sputtered and splattered so it got a bit messy dressing the bowl. But hey, it's all about how it tastes, right? Sometimes stuff happens. Anyway, that's our chicken rice bowl and all you got to do now is give everything a good mix and tuck in. Make sure you mix it well because you want that pesto dressing to coat everything and you want to get a bite of that chicken and that fresh mozzarella and the salty olives and the fresh tomato. I'm drooling already. Anyway, enough jibber jabber, time to taste. Alright folks, it's time to taste our keto chicken rice bowl and look who's back. My dad, Mickey Makija. Who's back again? This is the fourth time I've come back. There's some drilling going on. So since 4 o'clock, we've been trying to get this shoot done. Finally, there's silence. So I'm back again for the fourth time. Yes, but they're not... Anyway, never mind. <laughs> Enough jibber jabber, let's taste. You know, there's a lot of things in this. Cherry tomatoes, olive. Oh yeah. Uh, and that mayo brings it... That yeah, pesto said, mayo brings it all together. Pesto mayo. And there's that, uh, what cheese? Mozzarella. Mozzarella cheese. Buffalo mozzarella. Yeah, and chicken. 
so that rice is i mean that supposed rice is insignificant it's like a salad yeah it's tasty yeah so actually being honest the zucchini kind of makes it more like a salad because it's fresh and i've used raw zucchini so it's kind of got that vibrant coolness to it like a salad does and you have it cold like we are having it now it doesn't leave anything else to be needed it's just fantastic awesome so i think my dad has given it the horns up yes. i hope you guys will make this at home and if you do take a picture tag me on instagram i'm at headbangers kitchen and i will see you on the next episode of this show anyway till then cheers and keep cooking i ain't going anywhere i'll be back again yes i think so yeah smash that like button if you want to see more of him hey folks if you enjoyed this video smash that like button and if you are a subscriber of headbangers kitchen hit the bell icon so you get a notification when i upload a new video anyway watch some more headbangers kitchen videos